You know what, pal? Forget about it. I'll find someone else. What's happened? I've had a burst pipe at Mobs. Place is flooded. Oh. Right, OK, we'll take it easy. It's just one thing after another. I'm going to I'll phone a plumber. Everything's just going wrong. Not everything. Claire's out of a coma. Yeah? Yeah. She's like a cockroach. Survive anything. And is she talking? I mean, has she said anything? Well, I don't know. The police were there, so... Maybe we should phone social services. Get them down there. Maybe, maybe they can talk to her. No, no, no. We'll, we'll do that tomorrow, OK? Let's just get the plumber. Hello? Yeah, it's, it's a burst pipe. Mobs. Hollywood's village. No, no, it's a business premises. Um, I'm not too sure. Hang on. Mate? <laughs> hey, listen, can you just send somebody around as soon as possible? Cheers. Hey, mate, come on. Like this and alcohol pops, or are you gonna be like on Guinness? Oh. <laughs> Anna? Yeah, what's the matter? With oh, the uni. Yeah. It takes me ages to make new friends, you know. What if I don't think any at all? Oh, come on, you're gonna have more friends than you know what to do with. <laughs> really? Really? <laughs> I haven't done anything wrong here. No one said you have. Yeah, well, you're acting like it. No, I'm just a bit bemused at your choice of men, that's all. It's a bit hypocritical, isn't it? Hey, look, Dan and I went on some stupid date together, that's all. And that's all it took for me to come to my senses. Bottom line is, Dan's a creep. Just lay off him. He's not as bad as people make out. He's just... he's got a bad press. Yeah, gutter press, most of it deserved. Do you got anything you want to get off your chest about Darren? Me? No. Why would I question true love when it comes along? Thanks for being so understanding, both of you. And Zach, you might as well have this back. I don't think a festival is a very good idea right now, do you? I couldn't agree more, but you know what, so? You might as well take the two of them, and you and Darren can go and get to know each other better. I don't want them. Well, neither do I. Oh, very mature. Do you want to know why I like Darren? Do you want me to spell it out for you? Yeah, go on, in big letters so I don't miss anything. Darren is down to earth. There's no side to him. What you see is what you get. Say that again. And he's really good company. He is. And he can be really charming when he wants to be. Wait, hang on, are we talking about the same fella here? Yeah? Darren is fun. He keeps everything light and he makes me laugh. And what am I, some miserable so he doesn't crack a smile now? And what I like most about Darren is he is not one of us. He's not part of our group. When I'm with him, when he makes me laugh, I can pretend that I haven't just spent the last eight months of my life with a psycho. Are those letters big enough for you? <laughs> Hi, mate. Thought you might fancy a drink. I don't. Where are the girls? Sleeping it off. Lightweights. What, what do you want? Well, just come round to see how you are. You know, with the whole spike thing and, and everything else. Everything else? What, what? I know it must be difficult for you seeing me and Sarah together. Difficult? I split up with Spike because of you. You told me you love me. You, you told me you were going to split up with Sarah. And I will, you know, when the time is right. When the time's right? She's making these plans. Oh, grow up. What do you want me to do? I mean, I can't split up with her today. I mean, we're celebrating. Yeah, but, but, but you're not going to do it today or, or tomorrow or next week or next month. I mean... John Paul. No, Craig. It's not fair on Sarah. I, I, I can't even look her in the eye. I'm just trying to do the right thing for everyone. 
You liar. Hey, you're lying to, to Sarah, you're lying to me, you're lying to yourself. I just... I need a bit more time. No, I'm, I'm not your bit on the side. Just get out, Craig, now, out. No, look, I'll do it tomorrow, OK? I've heard it all before. I give you my word. I promise, all right? I I'll do it tomorrow. If you're stringing me along... I'm not. I swear to you. I don't want to put any pressure on you, Mrs Cunningham, but I will need to take a statement from you at some point. I can come back later. Or tomorrow, if you prefer. No. I can tell you all you want to know. Maybe you need some time to collect your thoughts? It's all coming back to me now. So it was a fairly busy night at the loft. I remember. There was a hen party. That's right. Had you noticed any uh, suspicious behaviour? Unfamiliar faces? Just the usual crowd. I was cashing up and... I put the money in the safe. I was hot. There was a noise that went outside for some air. Mrs. Cunningham. I don't remember. Warren. Warren Fox. If you ever miss an episode of Hollyoaks, you can catch up for free online and with Virgin Media. Go to channel4.com slash 4OD for info. Next, it's the news. <laughs> Even on my waist day, I'm better than Darren Osborne. All night. Yes. No, she wants to get Will out of her mind, that's fair enough. Anyone would feel the same way. But I would choose electric shock therapy over Darren Osborne. She could come round, wouldn't she? 